Ciao guys and welcome to another hair video. So this video is really about just simple ways how to tie a headscarf or a top. Just like simple way how to style your headscarf, especially during the summer of the scarf. So I'm gonna have one scarf and show you four ways, step by step, how can you style this head scarf. what it is uh, I can't tell the size and it's not like uniform in color it is something I got from the open market I would say about six years ago with mother-in-law when we went shopping in Rome at the open market for like a euro and I've been using it since then and it works actually really well if you're new to our channel please first excuse my hair I have to leave it this way because I want to do the headscarf stuff and if you are new to my channel and you like this if you are not yet part of the lambies family hit that notification button as well as the subscribe button and also leave a comment as usual as well as a like that helps our channel grow and we appreciate your support Style number one, or oh, before I even do the style, I usually have like a very small brush just to make sure my edges, and I'm going to use also this mirror here to make sure my edges are in order. Because I, I would say first, what I want to do is this. Make sure that I remove all the pins. We put this like in a form of a triangle. Yes. Then we go at the back of our head. Then you have your hair like this. Just push it back. Push it back. Yeah, it's weird, but I've been doing this all my life so I can actually do it even without looking in the mirror. And then we tie it obviously here. Depending on how safe you feel. If you are a pro like myself, you can also deal with one. If you want, depending also on the material, I would say just two times. So it's really, it holds in place. And then you take this. I would say you take this. And then you just stuff it on the side. You would also take this other bit. And you stuff it here on the side. Now I'm going to use my mirror here to make sure that, to see how things are looking. So we push this back and then you have a whole lot of this that you also just really, really, really need to stuff inside here. Also, the front here, you want to make sure that your hair is a little bit out, it's showing. Oh, this is not the right side of the mirror to look at. It looks really strange. Oh, yeah. You see? There you go. Now, depending on how long your hair is, this is like, not like shoulder inch. It's like really mean. It's just medium length hair. I would do it like this. But I like my hair looking a little bit neat. I would just push it a little bit back. Like it's out, but it's not all the way out and then just fold the ends here and I have my scarf looking like that now some people prefer like myself and then I'm going to ask my stylist here partner in crime how am I looking but first before I go to that you want it's super simple easy you have to do obviously a lot of just really stuffing things but that's there's no, I don't think there's any wrong way to actually tie a scarf on your head. Just how you feel comfortable and good and how you feel beautiful. What do you think, babe? Good. Yeah, so I would say this is style number one. Amazing for the summer. Like, I like also to keep all this bun out. 
And because I actually played in my hair the back, it's easier in the hair. The scarf here is actually smoother. I can go to a summer party now. What do you think? In the Super. scale of 1 to 10? I like this style. I would give it a 8. 8. And then here, all that is covered. Also, if you just... But your hair, your hair has grown a lot. <laughs> I know. It's magic and we eat a lot of pasta. Let me yeah, see. Uh, uh, pasta is <laughs> and olive simple. oil. <laughs> also yours. Anyway, so this is style number one, super simple. And I would also just want to add a tip here. Like if I have like a protective style, like just maybe some twist or whatsoever, I only undo the top part depending mm -hmm. on how full and thick your hair is. And mine is super thick, so I would only undo the top part, and that's enough to have this effect when you tie your scarf. And then the Back here still remain in order and then you just come redo the the what you have undone and then move on for the week. So this is actually my really go-to all the time and I feel like this blue color, although it's not uniform, it goes very well when I'm just having like a demi shirt like this one. And yeah. Style number two, we start with triangle as usual. And I'm going to fold this again to make sure that the triangle part is a little bit hidden. We end up with something like this. The inside of this is not perfect, but doesn't matter because it's going to be the inner part. And then I want my hair a little bit in a messy situation. Not fully, but you want some, you know, a little bit messy situation. And then we take our scarf and we put it right here at the back. Now this is, this time it's smaller. And then you just come all the way and again you do this. Right, that's all you want to do. What I would do next is tie this. Another knot just to make sure that it's really secure. And then move it to the side. Move it to the side. Why? Because I have something I want to do and I have it has to be on the side. Now, the hair at the back here, I could either probably put it in a bunch knot so I don't have a mess. Otherwise, keep it flat and just tuck it in the scarf at the back. demonstrate to you super simple put it in a bunch knot then I have only this one so I have tied two times and what I'll try to make here is a bow like you definitely want to make like some sort of just structure something popping Now, sometimes it works very well, sometimes I struggle, but it's oh. some voluminous stuff. And then, if your hair is quite short, if, I think you can keep it like this, but mine's way too long. So, what I would usually do is just push it on the side here. Now, this really depends on how good your material is. Some material kind of really pops, some don't pop. If you have a good material, it should work. And yeah, there you got it, style number two. What do you think, babe? You look amazing. I like also this one. Like it's it. like, a, it's a kind of a bow or what is on top? Yes, it's a kind of a bow. It is. It should be. It's, it's like, like a rose. I don't know. It should be something. Just. I think this is also it's very good. nice. Summary. Yes. And I like bow. also the hair from one side. Oh, okay. It looks really nice. So just pin it down here or just leave it. Mine is a little bit longer for it one year <laughs> anniversary so I just push it on the side but I think this is also I can see myself just you know being like this and going to a, a cocktail place and just chilling on a, on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday evening no Sunday evening I need to prepare for Monday Saturday, Sunday morning so yeah we have it <laughs> Number three is really for 
it's a little bit neater. It just maybe if you're at home, let's keep this. Sometimes I hear a person come fall in order. Push my hair back, pin it down if it allows me to. We still have our scarf in this way, shorter. And again, let me show you. First, I made it as a triangle. Then I just fold this inward, so I fold it. And then again, two times and we got this. And there you go. It's folded and we put it this way. And then we wind it all the way up here. But this time you want to make sure that you have a lot of hair on the side which I think you can also pull out later. So I would just do it usually to prefer to have a little bit more hair here. But let's first try to make it work. So you put it like this and I would say from here you want to kind of cross whatever the knot you've just made. You, that is your knot. Okay, let me see. This is how you knot it. I would do it like this. And then you move. Yes. Then you move. And then you come super simple. Now, if you want to keep it in place, I would say you just come and tie something at the back. Like a very, very small, fine knot. And also depending on your material. And then you just put this, tuck it away. The, the leftover, like the ends. If you really have a good material that hold it itself in place, then you just tuck it in without making a knot. But yeah, I'm going for the whole day outside playing or I don't know, going somewhere with friends. I don't want my scarf falling off, so I always secure it. As long as the knot is very fine and I still, I'm still looking really amazing. So yeah, and what I try to create here is usually just some. This end is already sticking out. Then you want a little bit of volume also here at the back, obviously, depending on the, where you're going whatsoever. But yeah, that's also it. You can keep the hair up here on bun, like in bantu knots, or you can just keep it like folded and pinned down as long as it doesn't get messy. And you're fine. You should be fine. What do you think about this one? It's nice, but it's really similar to the, uh, the other, I think. But yeah. it's really different. The first. Oh, baby, the hair is not here. Oh, okay. You don't realize that. Mm -hmm. So I say this is also my go to. Super simple, also super, super simple. You can just do this easy peasy, go grocery shopping like me on Saturday morning when I go full out <laughs> African. And yeah, and that's it. Let's move on to a the fourth thing I really want to show you here. Now I don't know if this is going to work very well because I did this before when I had, I used to like this when I really had long hair. Now I need to undo these twists. Again, we have our scarf, not a full triangle. You tuck in the triangle and like that, and then you have it like this. Then there you go. Although I think the other way around should work better. This is also super simple. I would just tuck it here and make it like this. And then just super simple and then just go all the way to the back without even making any knot or anything like that. There's no wrong or right, but I think you also want to make sure that the, the scarf is looking neat.
super simple but for this one i would also prefer that at least my ears are a little bit covered it looks a little bit neat and then push that on the side now this one instead of putting hair tucking it in on the side i would always just keep the hair out and what i want to do here it just kind of mimic um i think this is what you see most on my on my current instagram profile I'll take this hair here that I just left out. Just don't mind, I'm, I'm looking on the side because that's where my mirror is. And then just pin it. So this is another style that I also really enjoy a lot. But you, because you have twist out, which are really good for texture, you still want to make sure that the hair that you leave out here looks smooth and straightened out. And then you just have a little bit of a messy bunny situation here at the top. And I'm going to use one more pin to just make sure that the hair here is not all over the place. Yeah, so this is also one thing that I do a lot. When you have long hair, this really works very well because I think your twist, your curls would really be prominent on the side. But because my hair is not that long at the moment, this is what it is. But I, I still think it's, it's cute. It's definitely cute. Don't they just da 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 and this one? Hello. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like it? Mm -hmm. I like this one. Probably is the, the the one that I like most. Ah, really? Surprise, surprise. Yes. So, guys, what do you all think about this? This is my go-to easy. To style head scarf you can also with one scarf like you've seen with one scarf I can make four different styles and this is only for the summer I would still use this to do other winter styles like things that cover the whole head and things like that whole but yeah this is what I use is to make step by step I hope you enjoy this video if you do guys give me a like subscribe to our channel and ciao ciao ciao